So this question is a diagram question. Any question on the SAT that has some type of visual input, I call a diagram question. More specifically, what we have here is a triangle. We see that we know that angle K is 15 degrees. We don't know angle L. We don't know angle M. But we do know that side LM is, has a length of 20. So let's read the information and see what else we can figure out. Triangle KLM shown is similar to triangle RST. Okay, well, I'm going to draw triangle RST. It says it's similar, which means it has the exact same shape. It just has different lengths. All right, so that would be 15 there. And I'm going to call this KLM, so we go this way, RST. Okay. For these triangles, angle R and angle S correspond to, ang you know, to angle K and angle L, so we already got that respectively. RS is three times KL. So I'm just going to say KL is equal to X, and therefore RS is going to be 3X long. Which of the following statements is or are true? So I kind of went too fast, right? So what does it mean that RS is three times KL? That means for a similar triangle, that means that all of the corresponding sides are three times, right? All of the corresponding sides in triangle RST are three times longer than their corresponding side in KLM. So yes, if KL is X, that makes RS equal 3X. But also, if LM is 20, that makes ST equal to 60. And if I wanted to, I could say KM is Y, right? Some other unknown number. And that would make RT equal to 3Y. Okay. So it says, which of the following statements is or are true? One, the measure of angle R is 45 degrees. Nope, that is definitely not true, right? So the trick here is that you would think, oh, well, because the side length is three times bigger, then that means the angle, right, angle R versus angle K has to also be three times bigger. But that's not true because the definition of similar triangles means you have congruent angles. The angles are congruent to each other. It's only the side lengths that are different. So one is gone, which means that A is out and C is out. Two, ST is equal to 60. Well, what do you know, right? So this is what I love about this strategy diagram because I like to label, right? I label my diagram with everything I possibly can, right? So instead of just reading through and saying, oh, RS and 3KL, that makes sense. It's like, no, well, what does that mean that I know this is 20 and I know that RST is three times bigger in terms of its length? That means ST has to be 60. And doing that work up front makes this so much easier because I, I know that uh, statement two is correct and therefore choice B is the correct answer.